everyone. So I am Teacher Joel. For today, we will study about the conjunction. Okay. So at first, why do we need to study the conjunction? Of course, it makes our writing rich and colorful. And we know that writers use a variety of sentences to make their writing more interesting and lively. So for today, we're going to study the conjunction. Okay, so what is a conjunction? A conjunction, it connects words or phrases. Okay, so in conjunction, we have the what we call coordinating conjunction. What are the coordinating conjunction? It's very easy. Okay, so we have the acronym FANBOS. Okay, so we have seven coordinating conjunctions. So, and also conjunction, we use this when we are writing a compound sentence. Of course, each coordinating conjunction, they have their own use. Okay, so F stands for for. A stands for end. N stands for more. B stands for what? O stands for or. Y stands for yet. And S stands for so. Of course, each coordinating conjunction, as I told you a while ago, they have their own use. So we use this conjunction for and for reason. And we use the conjunction and for addition. Another conjunction is nor. So we use conjunction nor when we add a negative. Another, we use conjunction but for contrast. Next one, we use conjunction or for choices. Next one, we use conjunction yet for the unexpected outcome. Another, we use the conjunction so for the result. Okay? So, this fan voice, we use this for when we are writing a compound <coughs> sentence. So, for when we are trying to reason out. Okay? And, and when we are um, writing a sentence and we want to add, but it should be related. And nor when we add a negative, when we are writing a compound sentence. And but it's for contrast. It's like the opposite. Okay? And of course, we use the coordinating conjunction or for choices. Of course, it's like the option. Next one, the unexpected outcome. Meaning... It's the unexpected result, okay? And we use the conjunction also for the result of something, okay? So, of course, when we are using this coordinating conjunction, as I told you a while ago, we are writing a compound sentence. So, how to use this conjunction and how to write a compound sentence? It's very easy. So, we need to have an independent clause. So, what is a independent clause? Of course, independent clause is also called as simple sentence. So, when we say a simple sentence, it has the subject, the verb, and the object, right? Okay, so meaning it expresses a complete thought. So, a compound sentence, it has an independent clause, but of course, don't forget to write the comma because it separates the sentences. And another, you will insert what coordinated conjunction you're going to use. The last one, another independent clause. So in one sentence, we should have two independent clauses, comma and the conjunction, okay? So for your homework, you're going to write a compound sentence using the seven coordinating conjunction. 
which is the fanboys, okay? So thank you for listening and have a good day.